Joining me here at Darlington Hereford manager Josh Cowling, what did you make of that overall this afternoon? Yeah, frustrating day. Um, you know, we spoke to the lads about coming to this place. Um, obviously, they beat Hartford in the week 3 0. So, you know, they're going to start quick, and we knew that. And three had a, after five minutes in the middle of the goal, unacceptable. Simple as that. Obviously, second half, you changed things, a lot, a lot more potency up front from Hereford in the second half, but it was that final delivery that eluded them. Yeah, I mean, first half, we just didn't keep the ball well enough. I think we turned balls over too much and we kind of played their game a little bit. And then second half, look, we scored four goals of season, not because we're not getting areas. It's because the delivery has not been well, well enough, good enough, sorry. You know, their goalie gets banned in the match today and it, to be fair to me, put up some good saves, but the amount of times we hang balls up to their keeper for them to come and pick it, cherry pick it, is unbelievable. And I've said it to them there, we've got to be better in the final third. With the fun. We work really hard to get in good areas and then it's that final. I mean, we had a cut back there where it's, it's one yard wrong side of him or across that we're trying to fire across the goal rather than just taking a bit of care and a bit of detail. And that's what's let us down today. I think a lot of the Darlington supporters were saying, well, Hereford deserves something from the game today. Yeah, but we've lost one nil. No matter what we deserve, we've lost 1-0. It's the fourth game we've lost now. It's ridiculous. It's not good enough. You know, we, we, we've spoken there. I'm not happy, to be honest. We've spoken there. We were five games unbeaten. Come here, you be solid. Worst case scenario, you take a 0-0. And the reality is, we've, we've been undone with a goal after five minutes. But then we've had plenty of opportunities in the game to kill the game. You know, to get a goal in, up, uh, uh, back into the game, sorry, and then go and, then go and win the game. And we've, and we've not took it. Um, obviously, you, you put um, Pinchard on the bench today after uh, a decent performance last week. Is it that because you wanted that solidity out there yeah. to start the game? Yeah, of course. You know, you come away from home. Um, one thing we have had is been solid and organised away from home. Um, they they attack with numbers forward, um, and that's probably one area that we feel Harry can be better at. Um, so we went a bit more physical in the first half. You know, Lloydie and, and Mazzy in there, and obviously Ben sitting um, just to win that. You know that, that skirmish in the middle of the park, and as far as we did, um, but then obviously looking at after only one nil down, all of it. You know, you're coming at nil nil, then you can probably then go and, and, and progress in the second half. But coming in one nil down, then you've got to make changes. So obviously we brought Miles on and, and brought Harry on, and it it was to great effect. I thought you had a lot more possession. You must be pleased with that in the second period. Yeah, but it's easy to have possession when you're one nil down. There's a team drop off, and it, it, it's, it's easier. I think for us, um, we need to be braver in the first half. I think we probably condensed the pitch a bit too much. Our back four getting up, which didn't allow our space in the middle of the park. So, um, you know, our back, back four probably needs to drop a little bit just to open up our space so we can play in our little pockets. And we did it at Spiles in the first half, but just not well enough. But look, we're always going to keep the ball well. It's just we've got to put a consistent performance together. And you know, now you're turning your attention to the FA Cup. Higher graded opponents, Solly Old Moors at Edgar Street next Saturday. Um, not the result that you'd want going into that, but. I guess you're looking for a positive reaction. Yeah, you know, we wanted to go here, yeah, obviously be six games and beating going to Stolio Moore's game, but look, we've had a frank conversation with each other in there. Um, they've, they've been made fully aware of my thoughts about the situation, so we'll go hit hard training this week and then we'll be ready to go and beat Stolio Moore's on Saturday. Do you feel it's need to be more cutthroat in front of goal I'm, or just get shots away? Yeah, I just think it's decision making, isn't it? I, I just think we get in really good areas and it's one, the choice of pass or the type of pass or the delivery. And I think that's the big thing. You know, when we've put balls in good areas, like when we've done with Dan, he's got headers or Toei scored. And we are clinical when we get the ball at our feet in good areas. But unfortunately at the moment, we're, we're getting the ball and we're delivering balls and we're just not, you know, especially today, we just weren't delivering ball in good areas well enough. Because there was a lot of balls flashing across the box. Yeah. And it wasn't a question of nobody's gamble to get there. It was just that they weren't accurate enough. Yeah, exactly. It's probably, yeah, nail on the head really. It's just accurate deliveries. But look, you, you come to these places, you know, and at home we've seen this year, when you go goal down, teams are very hard to break down. You know, the second half we did play for long periods. They come out, they try to obviously carry on and win the game and then all of a sudden they get played through and they drop off. And all of a sudden the last 20 minutes of the game, they're sitting on their own yard box with 10 men behind the ball. It's very hard to break down. And, you know, we've got to be better at doing that when, when, when opposition do sit in. We have definitely got to be doing better at that, but we are getting good areas, like I said, but then again, it's the final delivery. A number of the injured players are coming back. We saw James Vincent and obviously Miles Story back in the frame today. Yeah. Is, are there more to come? Yeah, um, we're trying to get everyone back as quick as possible. I mean, you can see our bench today is very strong. Um, ideally, you know, you throw some of those lads in, but, you know, they've only trained, you know, w w one day really. So, you know, we don't want to risk that. Obviously, we probably didn't want to risk Miles coming on so early um, in, in, in the game, but, you know, he's changed the game for us, didn't he? You know, he's, he's direct, he, he got in behind quite a lot and, and he pushed them right back. So, but yeah, you know, we're getting players back now and once everyone's fit, we're going to have a, you know, a bit of a tasty squad. Thanks for your time. Cheers, thank you.